Perplexity AI is one of those tools you might have heard of, but you're not using yet. And to me, Perplexity is better than using Google Search or ChatGPT when doing research specifically. Now, I'm not the only one that is saying this. Jeff Bezos and many other CEOs of large companies like Nvidia, for example, have invested in Perplexity over the last few years. Now, here's the big question. What makes Perplexity so good? Well, before I answer that, let's first dive into Perplexity and let me show you how it actually works. So unlike ChatGPT, Perplexity is a bit different. It is not like a typical chat-based editor. First of all, let me just answer in a question. So I heard something about Kling AI. What is it and what does it do? Is it better? than Sora AI. Now, what Perplexity basically does is it searches the web, it searches YouTube, it searches all kinds of different tools and it finds an answer for you. So instead of you having to go through Google, find all the sources that it can find through the SEO of Google, then it will do that for you and it will craft a carefully selected answer for you. So here we can see it gives me the answer, like what it is. So it's developed by a Chinese tech company and it's designed to create hyper-realistic videos from text prompts. Now, the key features are that it has a video length and quality, 3D face and body construction. Basically, it gives me like an entire page of answers that I can use for my research. Now, if I want to ask follow-up questions, I can do so right here. So let's say, for example, is it a safe tool to use? Then this dives in even deeper for when I'm doing research and basically in one chat, I can ask all my follow-up questions. And the great thing about this is I can see these sources. So here I can see, for example, all the sources that it has used. So for this answer, it has used 12 sources like Writing Mage, YouTube, Tom's Guide to YouTube. It has used all kinds of different sources. So I can check for myself if I find these sources legitimate. And then also when I'm doing my research and I want to combine everything in, let's say an essay, then I can cite these sources like it has done right here. Now, the reason why I like Perplexity so much is because it focuses on delivering you a clear answer and also one that's up to date by searching through the web. And Compared to like ChatGPT, I found it much easier to do my research through this. Now, the great thing about Perplexity is if you dive into the settings, then you can choose what kind of language model you want to use. So with Perplexity, you have so many different language models available. You have Sonar Large, which is one of their newer ones. Then you have ChatGPT 4.0, you have Cloud, you have Cloud3 Opus. Now, basically you have five different language models that you can choose from and you can choose whatever model you like. So for example, if you'd like ChatGPT 4.0, then you use that one. And basically, if you're using ChatGPT for research, then I would say focus on Plexity because you can use like the 4.0 GPT in here. Now, besides that, you can also use it for image generation. I must say image generation isn't that great. Like it's not as good as you would have had on Midjourney or on ChatGPT. So for that, I would still consider having a ChatGPT or Midjourney subscription. Let me give you another example why I think this is better than Google Search, for example. So the other day I was having an issue with Adobe Firefly and the issue was as followed. Adobe Firefly gives me a blank screen solution. So what I can do here is I can focus on any type of source that I want to use. For example, in this specific, I want to search all across the web because I know on like the Adobe community page, on Reddit, on YouTube maybe, people have found the answer for this. So let me just hit enter and now it will search all across the web and it gives me a combined answer. Like you can see already, we have YouTube, we have the community, we have the community again, and we have like some other sources here. So basically, instead of me going through the community, trying to search it up through Adobe, which is very painful to do so, and also like going through sources like this, like literally doing research like this isn't fun. Like trying to find a solution for this, it's a pain in the ass to read like all the answers of everyone. So what I can do here, I get my detailed solution written in a step-by-step -step process from perplexity. So basically if solution one doesn't work, then I can use solution two and I can also use these additional tips. Now, for example, these come with, how do you turn off your firewall? If I don't know that, then I can ask it like a related question and automatically found that related question for me. 
to help me turn off my firewall. The focus search is not only great for if you're having problems when you have to search something across a community, but also it is great for students. So let's say, for example, you're doing research about a certain topic. Let's say I'm going to do research about the influence of social media on young adults. So now I can search for academic writings across perplexity. So now it is searching across like multiple sources that are reliable, that are used for academic writing. And basically I can use this for my research, for my paper. And I don't have to go through each of these like boring studies. It basically sums it up for me, gives me the source and just have a look at these sources. So we can see NCBI, NLM. So this is for example, the National Library of Medicine. And here they have done a study on this probably. So this is where you can find your answer from. There are a bunch of good sources from this. And now I can write like my conclusion based on this answer. On the right hand side of perplexity, we have three different options to make our search even better. We can search for images. So basically now it will search Google for images. We can search for videos. So we'll probably go through YouTube and we can generate an image. So let's say we want to generate a photograph or maybe even like a diagram. Maybe this will look good on our paper. Now it is generating a diagram with Delhi 3 because I'm using the pro version. If you're using the free version, you won't have access to Delhi 3. So if you want that, you have to upgrade. But other than that, the standard generative AI model of perplexity is pretty decent. Now here we have my image that has been generated with AI. There's not much I can do in terms of like changing this. Yeah, it's not like really meant for making really really good images through perplexity keep in mind that now what you can do with perplexity as well is you can attach a pdf and with that pdf you can let it go and say like hey what's the conclusion of this research let's say for example you're a teacher and you get like a 50 page paper from one of your students and you just want to know what the conclusion is you can just let it go through perplexity and ask it like hey give me the conclusion of this and also take a look at the sources you can ask all of these questions and basically it will save you a lot of time now one thing that i think is also great but that is more for like content creators is doing focused research through like youtube or even through reddit now one thing that i like for example let's say i'm researching about the best ai video generators uh, that have recently launched now doing this search in Google always gives me the most outdated results possible. So if I were to do this on like this, it will search through Reddit and I can literally see when these Reddit posts are being posted. And basically most of the times there are some unique features that I haven't spotted anywhere else. So now let's take a look at this answer. Here it has given me like four different tools that I could use and that I could take a look at. Now I can say like, how do they compare in quality? What are the main features? I can even ask like, hey, can you create some more tools for this? So basically you can ask your follow-up questions and make it as detailed as possible. So that is literally the basic of what perplexity is. Now let me dive in some of the more advanced stuff. Come up with first, we have the discover page. This is basically their, kind of like their news blog page from perplexity. So here they have their own custom blocks. So here, for example, we have a block about gravity may exist without mass. And here someone has done the research and has written this through perplexity. Now, let me actually show you how you can create a page like this. You click on plus, then you go to page. And here you can say what your page is about. So recently I saw something about Mr. Beast becoming the most subscribed YouTuber. Now, what it will do for me is it will do research. It will rewrite the headline. Then it will also like find some subheadings. It will basically give me like a table of contents about what it has used, the sources it has used. And I can also get like an image, which I can change later. So here we have the beginning of our source. We can add a section. So Mr. Beast VST series. Now it does all the research for me. It has given me the sources. And now let's say I want to add in a image, then I can do so right here. We'll find some media. This looks like it is a thumbnail. So I can click on change. I can change it to any of those images 
or I can generate a image with ChatGPT. Now I must say Mr. Beast is probably not a good prompt for a AI image generator, but let's see what it makes out of this. <laughs> okay, so that doesn't work at all, but this is just an example like what you can do. So AI image generating is not that good. But if I were to create like another page, so let me create a new page. Let's say for example, Alexander being seen as a god in Egypt. Now this is pretty cool for when you're doing research or when you want to share something with your colleagues. Let's say I study history and I want to write about Alexander the Great. So what I can do with this, I can write it through perplexity. Then I can make this page and I can literally like share it with my colleagues. I can share it with other students. And then I can literally share knowledge way faster than I could if I were to share like a Google search link. Or for example, with ChatGPT, you have to copy the entire thing and then you can send it to them. So with this, I can just publish this page and then I can copy the link and I can share it to my colleagues. Now, if you want to change the heading of this, you can click on change and here you can choose any image that you'd like. So let's do this one, for example, and then we can add images in here as well. Another cool feature that I want to share with you is making a collection. So let's say, for example, you go traveling, you can type in your title, you can give it a description, and then you can give it an AI prompt. This is optional, but this way you kind of have like your own custom kind of like GPT bot. And here you can collect all kind of threads or all kind of pages, as you may call them, into one place, for example, when you're doing your vacation planning or when you're searching or doing research on a certain topic. So this might just save you a lot of time in collecting all of your data. Now, the last tool that I want to share with you is a bit of an advanced tool, is the playground feature. So most of you probably won't be using this, but for the more advanced user, this is something you might want to test out. This is basically for testing your language models and trying it out. And basically it is for developers. But what you can do here is you can select a language model that you would like, then you can ask it anything. So for example, I can say, create a Python script uh, to scrape data from a website. Now here it gives me the entire thing and I can test like how fast it is, how many tokens it's using per second and how many tokens it has used in total. And with this, I can just use this and test it out even further. I can make changes to it and I can basically like test out my own perplexity API. So in summary, this is more for the advanced developers or the advanced people who do coding and all of that. But most users will probably just be using this and you only change that you will be doing is changing your focus and you might also change your language model. If you have any questions about perplexity AI, leave them down in the comments down below. And if you want to see more videos where I test out 10 different AI tools for content creators, then watch the video that's on the screen right now.